Welcome back to Broncos Franchise. Um, off camera, I did sign AJ Dillon and Austin Eckler for a power and third down back. Uh, since Julia McLaughlin and LaDamian Allen are injured, um, I am going to actually... Okay, Dennis Hayden is going to be our main third down back, so he's going to be in 90% of the time. Eckler will come in on occasion. Uh, we do have a linebacker breakout. Lost last week to the Colts, 24-20. Taking on an easier opponent, hopefully, in the Cleveland Browns this week. And we'll see who we're going to try and get a dev trade upgrade for. Way to step it up and put together a nice performance in the last game. Bring that same energy this week and put on a show. Baron Browning, okay, you got it, coach. Make sure you get some popcorn. Yeah, Baron Browning, six tackles and one tackle for loss for a dev trade upgrade. All right, seems like quite a bit, actually. Press conference. I gotta stop skipping these so I can actually see what it is. Let's talk about Bo Nix and how he played up to this point. In your opinion, what has he done well so far this season? Um, avoiding sacks. His ability to avoid sacks has been amazing. I'm not sure I agree. His sets have, haven't been that impressive. He's still a great quarterback, and I have his back. It'll be interesting to see how he reacts to you not knowing his stats. Alright, cool. <laughs> eh, fuck off. Alright, uh, let's take care of these. Oh, they got the rookie Jay Blackman in there. Um, Let's go with... Defend the outside run. We'll go throw it deep, I think. And I will take care of these quick. It looks like Dulcich and Arnett are going to be out this week. Arnett with an ACL sprain and Dulcich with a hip pointer. Not good. Got some upgrades here. Hopefully they're important ones. Quinn Miners. We will put a little power on him. Best belly in the NFL. Troy Franklin, Evan Arnett, and J.R. Forden. We'll put Playmaker on Franklin. Ooh, we got an ability slot. Arnett, we will go Agile. Forward in, we will go. Go power rusher. Get that up to a uh, 71. Uh, let's take a look here. What ability do we get? Outside apprentice. Let's do. I'm gonna do short and elite. I think that would be good. Alright. I did change Dennis Hayden's number to 8 instead of 20, so we'll see how that looks on him. Um, I did also update... Um, Nick Bonito's number to 15, and then changed Monster St. Clair's to 50. Five, I believe uh, since Nick Benito did change his number in real life to number 15 so I just wanted to reflect that and we'll take a look at the uh, I was about to say freshman but rookie Jay Blackman so far he's got 707 yards five touchdowns to four interceptions on the year I did throw on the 2007 Classics for the Browns. Baron Browning there gain a tackle. I believe that's a tackle for loss. Alright. 
Five more tackles for him and we're good. And JR Fording causes him to play. Uh, we need to stop doing that, guys. No more penalties. I thought the game froze for a second. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. Oh, I bit on the run so hard. Jerry Judy with a nice first down there from Blackman. If we would have uh, not gone after Chubb, probably would have been a nice sack. Abrams drained there. Can't get the pass break up on Jerry Judy. Poyer coming in. Can't finish it, but JOK is there for the stop. Chubb with the catch for a gain of one. Alright. Stop jumping off the I think this one's gonna be on the defense for jumping. Why were we cheering? Sean Pickett. He is a uh, rookie. Right end, left end. He was on free agent uh in free agency, so I picked him up. Just for a little bit of depth. Whew. Abrams Drain getting up there and blocking that one. Nice little pass deflection for him. Fourth and inches. Let's see what they like to do. They are going to go pass. That one over the middle to Najoku. For a touchdown. I thought he said a different name, so I was going to go check the roster, but then he said David, assuming Njoku. Alright. Rough tackling for us. Ben Rice on the return. Still looking to take one back this year. That went up to the 36. Bo Nix. Running out with the offense now. 634, five touchdowns, four interceptions for him so far on the year. Not a good touchdown to interception ratio, but it's early in the season. Looking to change that, obviously. Hayden up the middle, up to midfield at the 49. I think number eight looks really good on him instead of 20. I really liked when uh, Josh Jacobs switched from 28 to 8. And that pass overthrown from Mark Burr. Would have been a beautiful first down. And yeah, I think going from 20 to 8 on Hayden looks really good. And Mark Burr wide open. Getting the catch at the 20. Floated up by no by Bo Nix there. No Bix. Run it again with Hayden. It's only going to get a gain of one. Hayden on the catch, gain a gain of about four. Dumped that one out to Hayden. He's got space. Hayden him with the spin down at the one. First and goal. We are going to look to hand it off with him. I don't think he's had a touchdown so far in his rookie campaign. So he's going to get his first. I want to say that's his first rushing touchdown at least. Yep. Here we go. Better late than never. 
He does have a lot of ground yards already. So I'm not too mad about that, but... Yeah. We're already like a third of the way done with the season. Not really. It's only the, what, fourth game? PS2 stepping in front of that one with a pick. Can't spin outside of Nick Chubb, but Sertan with a nice pick. Taking this just outside of the green zone at 36. Hayden can't bounce that one all the way outside, but gets a gain of two. Here's a second and eight. Here's Nix. Pass a little low for Dotson, but he grabs it. Just short of the first. Third and inches now. Here comes third and the length of the football. I do want to try and get Mark Burr the football quite a bit today. Just to see. Just to see how he does, really. They're gonna run this to the left. Rodriguez there. The rookie tight end. Getting a decent block. To get up to the five. Hayden still will try and get another run in. Rodriguez in motion. Decent blocks. Rollins there trying to lead the way. I believe it's Rollins. No. 64, I don't know who that is, but. And another run with Hayden. He's going to get across for his second touchdown. That'll put us up 14 to 7. All right, Jay Blackman getting back out on the field now after the interception to Pat Sertan. I thought they were going to dump that out to Chubb, to be honest, but that one to... I don't even know who that is. Thrash, maybe? I just looked at their lineup. 14-7, we're up. At the end of one. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle, it's Chubb. Nick Chubb with a gain of three on that run. Second and seven now. Second and seven. Baron Browning can't take down the receiver. Who's number 19? Cedric Tillman? Bro, I literally just looked at this. And I still don't know. Wide receiver. 80 is Jamari Thrash. 19, Cedric Tillman. 16, Brownlee. Okay. Let's try and remember that. I'm going to forget... 10 is their rookie tight end, so I don't think you don't matter. That is going to be a strip sack for J.R. Ford and picked up by Drew Sanders. We'll take over at the 48. Pass to Troy Franklin, good for nine, second and one. To be honest, we can probably just keep it on the ground. Our run game has been pretty solid so far. Exactly my point. Up to the 33. Dennis Hayden with a great run. I mean, honestly, their secondary is really the best part of their defense. Devin Bush with the tackle there. Second and ten. 
They'll go play action with Nix. Pass up for Marvin Mims on the sideline. Caught out of bounds at the 10. 23 yards on the play. Can maybe hit Mark Burr here. To throw. Here's Nix. Yeah, bad throw. Throw it up to Burr in the corner. Can't get it broken up by the defender there. Pass a little underthrown for Burr. He'll just go for it. Try running with Hayden. We will. We'll be down at the one. Not mad about that. They gave it to him in search of his third touchdown, but he's denied. And the Browns were able to come so now we're just going to run commit. And apparently just let Nick Chubb and shove his schlong down our throats, bro. Man. How do we run commit that and he still just kills us? Don't make sense to me. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking middle, and that's complete. Thrash with the catch. Picking up the first. So the Browns actually find like a franchise quarterback? That's not ass. They'll look to throw now on first down. Dodson getting back there with a sack on Blackman. Leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss. Yeah, I'll bring up six. second and 16. Protection certainly you need be a bit quite a few tackles for Baron Browning yet. I think still five. If I'm not mistaken. Bobby Brown getting the tackle there. Gaining nothing, third and 16 now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yes, screen out to Cedric Tillman. Pick up of about seven. Fourth and nine now. Ben Rice on the return, getting nothing. Down at the 23, 247 left in the first half. And we'll see what we can do on offense here. Horse devastating, keeping it on the ground up to the 35. Yeah. Thrown behind Troy Franklin. They are going to call defensive pass interference, I guess. We'll take it. I'll take three yards. I'm no mad. Pass for Eckler. Incomplete. Eckler's wanting the flag now. Don't get too crazy, my boy. <laughs> it is with you. Rodriguez is wide open on the left there. So end up for Mark Burr. Almost came down with it. Hit, hit as he was falling. Causing the incompletion. Matt Ariza with the punt. Riley Moss back there. Couldn't get the stop on Jerome Ford. Quinn Miners went in there and got him. JOK on coverage, chasing down David Njoku, right inside the green zone at the 29. And we'll see if Cleveland can tie it up before halftime here. Poyer, 
taking out the legs of Njoku. We go man here. They got me on the tight end. Hands, man. I was holding Y to pick it. That was a pick six, to be honest. Look at this. I jumped that. Bam. I, I'm holding Y to pick that, right? Nothing but green grass ahead. I'm 97% sure that's a, that's a pick six. Nick Bonito can't take him down. J.R. Forden. Chasing him out of bounds. Blackman losing a yard or two there. Pat Sertan with the pass deflection right into the hands of David Njoku for a touchdown. Get ready to tie it up. That... That's a pick 99% of the... 99% of the time. He just took his eyes off it for a half second and tipped it right down to David Njoku. Why is the Moss almost getting the block? Cleveland ties it up 14-0. 36 seconds left in the first half. Mims now on the return. Gonna have some space up to the 43. That should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts. Hayden with a couple of yards on the run there. Pass to Troy Franklin a little bit behind as we were hit. Call our second of three timeouts. 20 seconds left. Pass to Mark Burr. Broken up by Grant Delpit. Pass overthrown. Intercepted. Tackle, please. Who is that? I don't even know. I can see. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise. JR, the JL Skinner. Up there with the pass breakup. We're going to run it inside with Dennis Hayden Moore. And we'll just have to defend the inside run. I feel like our pass defense has been solid. We just can't really stop the run. Ben Rice on the return to start the second half. Almost broke free. I feel like I say that every single time he's, he gets the ball on a kick return. He almost broke free. Sorry with the little screen to Dennis Hayden. Going right and left and right and left. Taken down after a gain of six. By Devin Bush. That was picked off by Emerson there. Thankfully, it wasn't. All right. Had to go help the kid off quick. That one down to Dotson. From 143 to the other. Oh, nice little catch and run there. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. 
Get it right back to Hayden here. And a gain of nine. Second and one. Franklin on the catch up to the 28. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. jet sweep with Marvin Mims. Let's see, let's see what we can get on that. He's going to get up to the 12. Nice little run for Mims there. We'll try and just give him a shot up here in the end zone. Fortunately, got double team. Nick's taking off, getting tackled by Garrett. Gain of four, though. Third and six. Oh, I didn't even see the guy behind me. I thought that was a free Marvin Mims touchdown right there. Kind of want to go for it again. It'd be aggressive. That one to Burr. Uh, hit from behind, causing the ball to be free. Incomplete on fourth down. A little unfortunate, but happens. Worth the risk. I mean, we go up by a touchdown or set them back really far in their, in their own territory. Holding. All right. Uh, we'll accept that. That'll set them up first in 19 at their own nine. Brandon Jones getting the tackle on the Joku. Second and 14 after the gain of five. They give the chub out of the gun. It's switch stick is gonna piss me off. They just need to use this like a learning lesson to not always hit sick, you know? Thrash with a nice first down grab. Kier Elam pushing him out of bounds. That pass can be out of bounds. Just a throwaway second and ten. J.O.K. laying a big hit on Jerry Judy at the first down marker. They are going to give it to him. Dodson getting the diving tackle on Chubb there. I do want to check on the progress for uh, what's uh, Sparrow and Brown in so far? Only one tackle. I am going to move him into a few other packages. Just to try and give him a chance to get those tackles. Still needs five tackles. We're already in the third quarter here. So, almost the fourth. And 
Hey, Joku. Having a CTE episode. Let me tackle him. Tillman gain of nine there. Second and one. Abrams drain back there getting a sack. Third and seven. Can't get to Nujoku and that's gonna be a touchdown. Cleveland's gonna go up by a score. 21 to 14. Thirty seconds left in the third quarter. And lead is now 21-14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Mims on the return. Getting suplex at the 28. I went to Rodriguez out of bounds. Cat caught at the 45. In Cleveland territory. Hayden with a gain of two on that run. That will bring us to the end of the third quarter. Cleveland up by a score. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. They'll keep it on the ground. Hayden with another run got bumped way outside of the right. That will bring us to third and ten. That went to Mark Burr, good for the first. Outside of the red zone at the 23. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Nix. Troy Franklin just short of the first as he caught it and then gets across to the 11. For the first down, words are easy. Operating from the gun, Nix. To Marvin Mims. Caught and down at the one. I'm pretty sure he was in. I'm going to instant replay that and challenge if necessary, but. I'm pretty sure the ball's across right there. Touching the line. We'll throw a challenge play. I'm pretty sure he got in. Okay, that one he really got in, but looking at is a spot of the football and this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Why did that angle show us like in by like five yards? So that challenge not successful. Whatever. That's gonna cost him the first of his timeouts. Give it to Dennis Hayden. He's gonna get in. There is a flag probably holding. Let's make a guess. Mike McClinchy. Who they're showing? Oh, Mark Burr. <laughs> what a change of pace. Oh, killing me, boys. Always somebody. Hayden. Up to the six. Doing the exact same thing. Let's take it to the right this time. I think gain a two. Injury timeout it looks like, but they're not going to say anything to me. Collins is going to be our rookie center. Not good. Burr, I need you on a drag, brother. I know you can't hear me. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Holding. 
Quinn Miners. Another change of pace. Stop. This game is forcing me not to score. Burr with the catch up to the three through shoulder. We'll keep Joe Feliciano in for now. That means it's a big time decision on what you call on fourth down. Absolutely, because a field goal is doing much good. Here we go on fourth down. Dennis Hayden with his third touchdown today. All three touchdowns today from the running back who has not had a touchdown up to this point in the season. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game. And we still need five tackles from Baron Browning. With just under six and a half minutes left. It is doable. Will it happen? Probably not, because the game freaking hates us. Cleveland offense ready to go. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. They begin this drive with Chubb. And this has been a half tackle sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A three-yard loss Don't to start look out the drive. Not, they look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Operating from the gun. Blackman on the throw led him too much. Third and 13 incomplete. incomplete. This offense so far on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is going to be third and 13. This short pass into the hands of Well, Dodson and Pat Sertan there for the stop. Well short of the first down. And that was a quick three and out. Five minutes left and they are punting it. As he'll kick it away for the second time. And Ben Rice back on the return. Nothing. Down at the 15. Made even better by a loss on the return. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide. Oh, flag probably holding. Who would have thought? Who's it on? Mike McGlinchey. Ah, uh, Mark Mark Glenowski. Glowinski. Mark Glowinski. It's going to be everybody but McClinch, and I won't be able to say anything about him. And what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, I'm selling. Grant Delpit with the pick. Almost six. No. No, the F it wasn't. You're giving him that, but you're not going to give me the the one with a, a, a brother. No. There's no way. <laughs> but they don't call the one that I crossed the line on? What's going on? Okay, thank you. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. Guess who so got their thumbnail? Me. Pinero's extra point up and good. And they will take a second uh. lead. A night of 20. The Broncos offense and their running back is set to go once more. Denver offense at the line ready to go. That, I don't even have words, brother. Hayden with a nice run to 32. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw his Knicks. 
Mims with a beautiful first down. Almost just want to keep it on the ground. That way I know for sure I'm not going to throw a pick. Not that Hayden won't fumble, but at least we know. Why did I even say anything? <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. Sack him. Jesus. It's J O K Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa in there for the sack. Stop with the penalties. Holy shit. I'm about to send this guy right back to fucking free agency. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. From the gun on third down, Blackman. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. The Browns send out their punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Alright, we got one play before the two minute warning. Thankfully, Cleveland did not score there, so. They're still only up by one touchdown. Now it's Knicks. Burr with a beautiful catch and run. Up to the uh, 30 for a first. Hayden with a nice catch and run up to the up to midfield. Oh, I'm ready for bed. Mims, nine yarder. This will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He's back to throw. Nick's nowhere to go there. Everything was covered. I don't even know what I want to do here. Why? Why can't we just have one play, one drive without a penalty? So apparently, some grabbing of the jersey there on the O line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They'll look to throw. If we at least stop him here, we got two more timeouts. Alright. We do have a chance. Alright. 11 seconds. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. No fucking shot, bro. Holy. They'll say the three yard line 
line. That's where they spot it. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt. Bruce going to have to throw it up to Franklin here. They give the defense a really nice opportunity. He's going to let it fly. No pass interference. Oh, you're kidding me. I got no words. Penalties need to stop. It's... Ah. Oh, we didn't get this breakout for Baron Browdy, which sucks. I was waiting for that for a long time. That would have really helped our defense. Got 2,500 experience, so woohoo! Piss off. Taking on the Eagles next week. Just the final game of our away stretch, I believe. Yep, and then we take on the Chargers back at home right before our bye week. And yeah. Should be a fun game next week. Got another press conference. Got some upgrades here. We'll do those quick. Baron Browning, of course, of course. We'll go speed on him. Brother, I'm sorry we couldn't get you up to Superstar. I'm sorry. Uh, who do we have to negotiate here? I don't know about him, dude. Alright. Honestly, I might try to give Dotson to the Eagles. I know, very stupid of me. But, try to make it more realistic. I mean, it is the last year of his contract, so it wouldn't really matter. But, yeah, I think I'm also going to try and move Jaleel. I mean, we got Hayden's just a beast and freaking I mean, honestly, he can do it all and we got Allen as our power back once he's healthy, but yeah, I think Hayden's going to be our our main back and our third down back's pretty much taking care of everything. Uh, next game we should know J.R. Forden's dev trait, and I'd, I'd assume Dennis Hayden's too, 438, yeah. Same with the offensive linemen. No. They got quite a bit, it looks like. But yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Tell them to stay cool. Peace.